From unbelievable trick plays to bodacious banana ball bombs and never before seen walk ups into walk offs. Here are 25 of March's most entertaining plays. And Tanner Thomas. Oh, he's driving his little one wheel. It's coming in from left field. Well, you, you got to be excited to see your guys giving you some run support here. Oh my god, he hasn't got the first yet. Oh no. Are you serious? Did the camera catch that? I was already writing single in my book. Oh no. Oh, that's so messed up. He's looking for one here against Donnie, but chops this one to second base. Jackson Olsen looking for his third trick play of the night, and he will get it another under the leg flip to EJ. As you get another look, this one's the best of the bunch for Jackson Olsen with the kilt flying. A decent amount of the Bananas pitching staff involved in the fun with Bridges here. Get out of Four Oaks, North Carolina. Crank diving catch! Jason Swan robs Bridges of extra bases. One struck well to center, but Meadows right there. And how about the trick play? Leaping behind his back. No look necessary. Second trick play of the night for Meadows. Good. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Reese Hampton is out of his mind in trick plays right now. That ball looked like it was about to hit grass. Reese Hampton all of a sudden goes under so the scared. leg and saves that one from falling in for a hit. Oh my goodness, Reese Hampton! Gosh, take it easy, dude. <laughs> non stop in this ball game. Kyle's got another comebacker. This time he is going to hike it. EJ goes behind his back for the second time in banana ball history. Cowboy Kyle got it off in time to EJ, and he nails the reception yet again, holding the bag. And here comes DR Meadows running in. Kellogg tosses him the ball. The doctor jogging in from center to fire an 0-2. He clears Kellogg. Back up the middle. It's a base hit. Meadows just jumped the six foot six Canadian on the bump. Right back at Ryan Kellogg, who really wasn't anticipating a comebacker. Stars at night. How about this walk up from Reese Hampton? This is awesome. This is so party animals and so Texas. We'll see what happens. It's just one of the best hitters in banana ball oh! history. Wow. Throw him out. Here we go. Play at the plate. Play at the plate. What do you think, Bill? That was, he was safe, but that was a sick tag, I will say. Scoojay is 93 to 95 with the fastball. Swan able to adjust to the bender, flies it towards DR Meadows, who backflips, makes the catch, lands the flip. Tenth trick play of the tour in elite all outfielders. Come Possibly on. the best backflip we've ever seen from DR Meadows, and it comes on Banana Ball's biggest stage. Wow! Unfortunately, just falls in the glove of Tanner Thomas, as now the party animals set up a trick <laughs> pitch here against Jackson Olsen. It gets away, and how about this sequence of events? Jackson Olsen, excellent Banana Ball field. He's going to steal first base. What a wild play! The Rocket! Roger Clemens! One of the greatest pitchers in Major League Baseball history in the Rocket. But he's here for Banana Ball, he's all in. Jason Swan, oh no! Oh my gosh! 
swan! No mercy for Roger Clemens! That thing nearly went off the train tracks! Two run bomb! Oh, wow! He's the Greek god of MPI for a reason. Pitch efficiency has always been a strength of Helton's, as has been his dance moves on and off the mound. The guy who had KOK -OK wings and things absolutely ablaze last Wednesday night in Baton Rouge. This time, he gets Jackson Olsen to fly into Reese Hampton behind the back! Chase Acuff with a specialty walk-up. Coming in from the stands with our beloved party animals correspondent, Drake Tolls. Big Dalmatian jacket. And here come Mr. Acuff's Dalmatians. To Olsen at second his first time. You look at the numbers across his tour. He has been unbelievable. And now he fouls out to a fan on the first pitch he gets. What a play by that guy. He gets stilts to bounce it to Acuff, who bounces it to Baber, who bounces it to Bloomer. Double trick play. Yeah, great location here from DJ the Invader against Jason Swan, who chops this up the middle. Cox with a behind the back glove feed to Jackson Olsen, who throws it over to Eric Jones Jr. What a phenomenal double play here to end the top of the seventh. Third trick play for the glove magician. Now Robert Anthony Cruz is going to be doing some dance dance revolution well at the dish. Oh, it's fair ball. There. Yeah. Rack's going to walk the inning off. The first ever dance dance revolution battle ends in an inning ender for Robert Anthony Cruz. I have a good idea what's coming next. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. And it is fireball round three. Dustin Baber, he has himself a double. A wild sequence of events. You get two banana balls lit on fire, and Dustin Baber goes first pick swinging down the line. This time, instead of just one banana ball, two electric boogaloo. Yeah, my name is Tim Thomas, and guess what? I have a magic eight ball in my hand, and it's gonna decide whether I should swing or not in this at bat. Kellogg, is that cool with you? He's ready to rock. All right. Let's see what we got for the first roll. It says yes. This should be a good pitch, Vince. Can you hold this for me? Thank you, sir. Hey! Oh! Do the trick, Reese. Ah! Oh. Thank you, Gwinnett. Tornado catch! Unbelievable from Reese Alexiades. 2 1. There goes Thomas. It's bounced to short. Ryan Cox behind the back to the bounce. Eric Jones Jr. behind the back himself. A double trick play, the greatest we've seen in banana ball history. Here comes Bill Leroy doing his best Bill Nye the Science Guy impersonation. And we've got an experiment. Wow! Otherworldly stuff going on out there. Bill has proven that if you put Mentos in Pepsi, it will explode. That's a good piece. Well driven out to left center. And one hop the wall. And Bill Nye, the science guy, into second with an inning tying two bagger. With the lab coat just flapping behind him, it's Bill Leroy. And the Nanners cut the lead in half. It is now two to one. You know what Bill Leroy, the science guy, thinks about this one? Walk-offs rule. <laughs> Zach Phillip will come in for Roy Oswald. Philly, four years of minor league baseball experience in the Kansas City Royal system. Jordan Hussein getting his first at bat of the tour nearly beats the rap. Cox juggling that ball, gets it over just in time. Hussein was pinch hitting for Baber there.
now Jason Swan, the donut hitter, who has homered off of Roger Clemens, blown into a trick play in center off of Ethan Scooge, and also singled off of Scooge. Now, oh, baby! Freshly inserted into right field, Reese Alexiades has the first trick play of his young banana ball career. And one we've never quite seen in banana ball as well, just when you think Alexiades couldn't hold on to the ball, it pops into his glove. And how about this for Zach Phillips? That's the fastest inning ever thrown in banana ball history. 55 seconds for Philly. Randy made the right call though. So if they used it here, the call would not have been overturned. Oh, that's a foul out to a fan. Unbelievable play to retire Ryan Cox. That cat reached over the banister and one-handed snagged the out. And hold on, Drew Gillespie just told the Bananas dugout that was his brother. What is going on? Out of over 41,000 fans, he just induced a foul out to his brother? And how about this for Jackson Olsen? I'm just Ken playing here in Alec Box Stadium. You know and he actually sang this song. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson sang this song? <laughs> he's singing right now. <laughs> oh, he's singing live. Yeah, he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> Going down his entire team. This is a song that Jackson really relates to. He's been taking the first pitch after big entrances lately, so I might just throw a heater right down the middle and really hope he doesn't swing. Big finish, Jackson. See you on the Malibu beach. He had no helmet or bat, so DR Meadows delivers his accessories. And now we're ready to play. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> he did take it. Brett Howland, dance for us, my friend. Play that thing, baby. Yep. Oh, there's that funky boogie. <laughs> oh, those are some magical legs you've got. And the pitch. How did he oh, hit that? No. He wasn't distracted at all. That was a great piece of hitting. Boy, oh boy, is that took his uh, Tanner Thomas one that I've been dreaming of. That is a badonka donk right there in Baton Rouge. Huh? Oh, natural. On the animal's left fielder, this one hit a mile high down the right field line. Tanner Thomas has left Alec Box Stadium. A towering blast with that bodacious booty. And the animals strike first here in the eighth. Tanner Thomas making sure to get that rump on every base before coming around to score at home. And would we see a spank train from the animals? No, but they all fall down. If you like that video, you can check out more right here. And if you want to watch a full game, click over here. And if you like all this stuff, like and subscribe. But the full game is still over here. Correct, but we've got more videos right up here. I mean, the full game's pretty cool over here.